Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Archdrake Mace, which is a very interesting weapon. This is one of two Great Hammer class weapons that actually has the Halberd moveset, and despite all of the horrible things I've heard about this weapon with how its damage output sucks and how it's a horrible weapon and blah blah blah, I actually had a really good time with this thing and found it to be very good. Now, getting started with the weapon, the Archdrake Mace requires 20 strength and 16 dexterity in order to wield. It has a B scaling in strength and a D in dexterity. The physical base damage of this weapon is 220, and the attack rating is actually 368, so without a ring, and that's with a ring of blades plus 2. So without the ring of blades, its attack rating is 318. That makes this weapon the least damaging of the Great Hammer class weapons. But really, you can't count this as a Great Hammer, you really cannot do that, because it has one Great Hammer-like aspect, and you know, it's more of a strength-based halberd than anything. Uh, moving on from here though, the counter strength of the weapon is 100, the poise damage, which is where this weapon gets really unique, is 60 per hit. That's insane. And when you consider the fact that this weapon only weighs 6 units, that's, a, that's just a bit ridiculous. I mean, the only other weapon that comes to mind off the top of my head that has a poise break of 60 per hit is the Giant Warrior's Club. That weighs 5 times as much as this weapon, and this thing can stun just as easily as that. That's fantastic. So, everyone in full havels, yeah, you'll be able to stun them, not a problem. Now, with this weapon, I would definitely have to say that the biggest pro would be the fact that its poise damage is 60 per hit. Other pros of the weapon, I would have to say, would be the fact that it does have the Halberd moveset, which is a fantastic moveset, it really is. And because it stuns so easily, you're able to pull off some pretty good combos with this weapon. One of the combos that I'm finding that I like the most with it is when two-handing the weapon, just go R1, R1, R2. Simple. Works well. It stuns incredibly easily. And it does a solid amount of damage. I've used it in this video, um, I use it in this video a few times, and it is very reliable, surprisingly. Um, other pros of the weapon that are worth mentioning, it's light, I mean, it only weighs 6 units, that's really not bad for something that can have such a high poise da- er, yeah, such a high poise damage and can combo so well, but, you know, other than that, it really doesn't have many pros. The cons of the weapon, its damage output would be the biggest con, and really, is the main con of the weapon, but I really don't consider it to be a big deal for one reason. The reason I don't consider it to be a big deal is the fact that when you hit someone, you're pretty much guaranteed a second hit on them, and god, that parry, every time I see it, just every time I see it, you know, it always gets me a little bit distracted, and can you guys really blame me for having that distract me? I mean, come on, that's such a good parry. Ugh, GG Fire Phoenix, GG. You got me good with that. Also, I do want to take this moment to thank you guys for saying it's okay for me to do these in Fight Clubs. I've had so much fun recording all of these, and I mean, if you said no and you wanted me to go back to the arena for some godforsaken reason, I would have and made a montage out of these. So, you know, it's nice being able to actually use them for their intended purpose. But anyway, back on topic of the Archdrake Mace. Um, yeah, the biggest con would be the fact that its damage output is so low, and the fact that it is the least damaging of the Great Hammer class weapons. Um, overall, it's a good weapon though, it's a really good weapon. And there's actually something interesting about it that I did notice. Now, this weapon, of course, has the Halberd moveset. But there's actually one attack from the Halberd moveset that this weapon is missing. This weapon cannot attack when you are holding up your shield. You will attack, but you won't be able to do the little turtle poke attack. You will actually do the overhead swing followed by the poke for the R1 R1 instead of just poking instead. Which, you know, it makes some sense, I guess. I mean, this weapon does have that little end on the weapon. Like, it's, it's got that little spiky-like thing on the end, so you should be able to poke with it. And you can if you do an R1 and then on the second R1 you poke. Why this one doesn't have the turtle poking ability, I really don't know. Now, it does have the exact same moveset as the Drake Keeper's War Pick, 
and based on the design of that weapon, the fact that it doesn't have a turtle poke makes sense. So for this one, I can kind of see why they, you know, just copy the moveset over, just copy pasted it, but at the same time, if they went through the trouble of removing it for the Drake Keeper's war pick, they should have just kept a normal Hullberg moveset for this one, because it still does the overhead swing and poke, although I suppose the other weapon does that as well, but... Oh well, I'm not from software, I don't call the shots on making the weapon movesets. If I did, oh boy, they'd be unique. But anyway, um, that's a story for another time. This is the last video, this is the last video in the fight. This is the last fight in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.